Hi, I'm Glenn Motts, Deputy Shadow Critic for Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness, and I'm here in Ottawa to talk to you about the latest developments of C-71. On May 28th, the Senate voted to approve Bill C-71, the changes to the Firearms Act. Now, despite 16 amendments based on evidence presented at the Senate Committee, the Senate undid the work of that committee and reverted to the original format of the bill as presented by the Liberals. Now, this bill has been very contentious, and all reasonable efforts to amend it were stamped out by the Liberal majority in the House, at committee, and the proclaimed independent senators approved by Justin Trudeau. After 35 years in policing, after speaking to public safety leaders across the country, after hearing from many experts and witnesses, I can tell you with certainty that this bill will do nothing to deal with people who commit violent crimes with firearms. Absolutely nothing. Canada has seen a rise in rural crime, especially in Alberta and Saskatchewan. In our major cities, rising violence and shootings have been linked by Stats Canada and police services to gangs and drugs. Now, instead of targeting criminals and gangs, Bill C-71 creates rules for already approved legal firearms owners, individuals who have been required to submit full background checks, criminal record checks, firearm safety training, and who every day are monitored for criminal activity. Gangs and criminals are not buying their guns legally. They are not licensed or vetted, and they won't be impacted by these changes. The only people impacted are hunters, sports shooters, farmers, who are all legal law-abiding firearm owners already, and they are approved to own those firearms. Now, let me say that again. This bill does nothing to stop gang violence and criminal activity. It only impacts people who already follow the law. This is not how our Canadian criminal justice system should work. Liberals have time and again misled Canadians. This is just another example where they have misused, outdated information to justify their politically motivated cause. When I came to Ottawa, I was new to politics and I took every opportunity to be respectful. But with each passing week, I get more and more frustrated, more and more angry. I'm angry at the neglect shown to real Canadians facing rising crime. I'm angry that the Liberals have failed to deliver the $500 million in funding that they promised the police agencies to tackle gangs and guns. I'm angry about the revolving door of justice made worse by the Liberals watering down criminal sentences. I'm angry about billions of wasted dollars while taxes and costs continue to rise and life gets more difficult for Canadians. I will continue to work every day to fight this corrupt, self-serving government. Our leader and the next Prime Minister of Canada, Andrew Scheer, is committed to repealing this horrible bill, Bill C-71, and ending this nonsense once and for all. For more information on our leader and the Conservative Vision for Canada, please visit visionforcanada.ca. Thank you. It's my honour to serve you.